Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. How are we doing today? Awesome Saturday. Ready to go, ready to kick some ass. We're here with Saturday Night Slumbery as we continue the career of one Balaki Tassin, who's been having quite an NXT run. All kinds of shenanigans here and there, all over the place. But, what's next for him? I think there's a chance that tonight, he may be moving up in competition. So, without further ado, I say we just hop right on into it and get a going. Here we are. Okay, so we got some stuff. What's going on? Social media is buzzing. Oh yeah, I did that. I did all of that. Um. Um. The end is near TikTok. Cryptic posts don't scare me. Ooh, looks like we're getting some Carrion Cross. Carrion Cross. Or Killer Cross. Whatever you want to call him. Either way, he's coming after me. The end is... The end is near. Yes, I will confirm that story. By the way, the music in the background, I'd like to thank uh, once again... I need to put it like a little thing on the bottom eventually. I always forget to do it, but I do always make sure that I give props every uh, couple of streams. I get my music, the beginning and ending. And since I don't have anything playing in the background for this game, because there's a lot of copyrighted stuff besides the entrance themes, um, Coffee Drinking Noob on Spotify provides some DMCA free music. I'd like to thank you for that. How's that? And is for the NXT North American Championship. Oh, I'm so did I give up my So I don't know if I was the it still shows the Look at that ugly belt. Doesn't fit on my hoodie. I need to change the color of my hoodie too. So, yo, oh, yeah, <laughs> that guy was pumped. All right. It's a big fight feel. Here, big fight feel. here we go. On the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. All right. I've seen my entrance. Let's see. Am I going up against Karrion Kron? No, nope. there's Mansoor. Manny! Of Saudi Arabia. A man who is the winner of the biggest battle royal in WWE <laughs> history. That guy's hilarious. I was, you ever hear him on the um Manny um what would he go by? Manny Faberino? I just casually roll out of the ring. Uh... I like this guy. That's how I'm gonna let him get. Things have been a little easy lately. I wouldn't say easy, well, kind of easy. I'm thinking about going to up the difficulty level a little bit. Manny Faberino. And introducing the champion from Fresno, California. Yeah. Weighing in at 200. 
19 pounds. He is the NXT North American Champion. The Superstar. The superstar. I still haven't changed any of that stuff. One of these days, I'll actually remember to do it. This is what it's all about. The NXT North American Championship is on the line. When you land in NXT, few things seem... I wish I could shake his hand before the man. North American title. Few have held it, but many have battled over it. I expect this match to be nothing short of spectacular. I have been waiting all night for this one. Gets his shoulder up right before two. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. Hey, uh, and whips him up. Whoa. Oh, God. I just stood there and took that. Answer going to the top rope. Uh oh, turn around. And he moves out of the way. Snap mare. Picks him back up. Oh. Double underhook. Suplex. Going to the top rope. He's gonna fly. Drops the elbow. Uh oh. Lights out. Scarlet. Why is she walking out like that? Uh oh. That's the finish. No, I don't think so. Ow. Oh, nice dance. Oh, I'll, I'll drops the elbow. Jawbreaker. Hits him with the elbow. And he's going up top again. This time with the leg. Gets him. He hits with the German. Holds on. Rolls it over. And Rainmaker! Ah! Is that enough to finish him? No. He kicks out. Uh oh. He's holding him up. Pop up power bomb. Right into the cover. That's it. That low, that low key. A superstar. I forgot I was going to let him get some of his stuff in. Continue. It's all right. I'll probably work a good match with uh, Carrie and Cross. So. Fall and pray. Hey, Karen, get your little goth cheerleader under control. Dinner appreciator checking in on my match. The first lady of NXT does whatever she desires. She was simply reminding you that we are here and it's time to prepare for doomsday. That's cool, but I'm actually preparing to face Timothy Thatcher next week on NXT. Love the support, but stay in the back if you don't mind. Continue the story. I don't need a name call. There's nothing wrong with goth cheerleaders. Don't you see the... <laughs> oh, that was a... Oh, I can't remember what video that was. Well, whatever. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Oh, they don't do that. They only do the one, two, three. 
Why is the champ always out first? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Here he comes down to the ring. The reigning, defending NXT World Champion and NXT North American Champion, Valaki Tassin. Let's go! That guy's excited. More pumped up crowd members. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly competent, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. Very astute. Go get him! I love the crowd in this game. Just a random loud person just just Yeah Woo! Yeah oh, this is more than a lesson call this is a master class Oh yeah Is it Thatch can Uh huh. Strikes, painful submissions. Timothy Thatcher can do it all. Much like his face, There's, this fight will be ugly. Saxon, you better keep your. They're very. Um, they didn't do a very good job of like um. Entrance commentary. It's just like the same stuff over and over again. It makes me almost not want to watch the entrances. I mean. I'll see him like for the first time. Introducing the challenger from Sacramento. Tigers. You know, when I haven't seen an entrance before, I like to just see it in the game. But uh There's not a lot of like rewatch value when the commentary is just the same thing every time. A superstar. This title represents America, Mexico, and Canada. You mean North America? The whole continent. The NXT North American Let's see what it says. Win the match. Uh oh. No. Cravat suplex. Already taunting. Hey, look at me. Or him to the back. And another one. Pulls him away. Oh, God. Counter. Ow. Standing drop kick. Picks him up. Hits him around. Turns him around. What's he doing from here? Russian leg sweep. Textbook. Going up top again. Wait for that to roll over. Elbow drop. This match will be ugly, just like his face. Is that what they said? Into a pin. Drop. Can I like do the? How do I just climb the? There we go. From the Brett rope. Knee drop. He's feeling it. Oh, he reversed by Sig. I don't know what that. Is it a, the oh, I the champ had it. Somehow, some 
some way, he is still in this. And now he's just being pushed around. Yeah, this flurry's proven to be quite the challenge for him here. Oh, oh God. He you got me. Uh-oh. Face first with a waistlock takedown. All right. Get your moves in, kid. Oh, no. I saw the story in 2K20. I know how to break out of that. Gotta just grab the ankle. Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention. Get out of that! Oh no! Oh, palm strikes to my face. Oh shit, I better. Ow. And reverse DDT. Grabs it by the arms. Is he gonna hit it? Come away. Perseveres. North American champion. I agree, Corey. What a victory. All right, is oh, here it is. What's going on? There's some kind of commotion in the ring, but I can't make out what's happening. Oh, there's your answer. The toll man has delivered a strong and clear message. Doomsday has officially arrived. The NXT North American the toll man told Kerry and Cross to get in line and apparently oh i'm scared of an hourglass Ooh, it's spooky all right carrying cross i'm ready do, do i wonder if any of these like any of these stories go like every time you look at your title you will know that i just cut to the front of the line the end is here x marks the fraught of the games if you like attacking me in the dark carry and cross then let's have an unsanctioned lights out match for my championship i knew you'd embrace the darkness and soon i will embrace your x championship continue the story what is he talking about? Why is he trying to talk like the Undertaker? <laughs> Soon, Baloki, you will embrace the darkness and be one with the ministry. Rest in peace. Dong. I can't roll my eyes in the back of my head like it. <laughs> All right. I just, okay. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I want to see if they say anything special because of the story. I don't think they will. I don't have high hopes for the commentary. The following contest. Oh, there's an X on my belt. I didn't notice that. Champion out first. A superstar. It is finally time for the NXT North American Championship match. Keep it together, Saxton. Save some of that excitement for the match itself. Whoever comes out on top, I can only imagine that this is going to be the title match. We'll be talking about for a long time after tonight. The champ has never looked more focused, laser focused on the task at hand. Nope, as expected, it's just the same old shit. All right, gonna see this long ass carry and cross intro though, entrance, because I haven't seen it in the game yet.
I have a question. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! Fall and pray. So my question is, if you give a creator wrestler or any wrestler the carry and cross entrance, do they always come out with Scarlet? <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. my belt oh no entrances or no introductions i don't get to hear where carrion cross is from and how much he weighs X marks the spot in this what are the objectives attempt to win by pinfall or submission uh oh So, is there disqualifications in a lights out match? Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Back suplex on the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring. I think Corey was saying at the same time I was. Cram oh, no. Oh, my back! Ow. Ow. Oh, get off me. Oh, my legs. Float over. DDT. Oh, I'm... I, I hit him, kind of. Step on his ankle. Step. Oh, hit, missed. Oh, God, my stomach. Oh. I don't think so. Elbow. Standing drop kick. Get up. Get up. Yeah. DDT into a pin. It's over. Well, does that count as the thing? I attempted to retain by pinfall. Double drop to the back. Man, it's over. It's over. I'm signaling the end. The end is near, Carrion Cross. That's it. But that's not all. shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? That's it. The champion stays the champion. I thought he was gonna kick out. Here is your winner. And still NXT North American Champion. The superstar. I seriously thought he would have kicked out of that. Important wins I've seen in recent memory. I agree, Corey. A huge victory tonight. I don't care if it's your fifth victory or your 5,000th. As he's showing right now, nothing matters more here in WWE. Well, that was anticlimactic. In your 
Unless something happens with the story more. Well. <laughs> That's it, huh? Wow, okay. Well. Um, so I think... I've done all of the... stories that I can do in NXT except the heel ones. So... Oh, I didn't do something in the... Look at me, I have all these belts. Alright, well, you know what that means then. Actually, let's see. The GM office. Oh, hold on. I need to check my social media first. Uh-huh. Hey, everyone, please. Sir. <laughs> okay. I really should keep up to date on all of my. Uh. Okay. Thank you. So, all right then, it's time to shake things up a bit. We're gonna shake things up a bit. Here in the WWE. All right, William. Let's do this. Not sure if you've heard, but there's a superstar shakeup approaching. I heard. How do you think that's going to turn out for me? Since you're a main eventer here on NXT, I'll leave that up to you. You can be protected from switching brands, or you can be eligible. It's your call. Um, anything else I should know? There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. Put me in the shakeup. I think a potential change of scenery sounds good. Put me in the shakeup. All right. All superstars participating in the shakeup must compete this week so the other GMs can see them in action. I have heard Adam Pierce likes to scout singles matches, while Mandy Rose prefers to evaluate tag team competition. So basically, which GM do you want to cater to? I hate tag team matches. Put me in a singles match so I can show Adam Pierce what I could do on SmackDown. I wouldn't hate. Done. And if this is it, well. It's been interesting. Thanks, William. Mr. Sure I'm has. sorry, Mr. Regal. I wish you could be the GM of every show I go to, but I was going to say, I wouldn't hate tag team matches so much if it didn't make me control the person I tagged into. If I could just tag out and still control my character, I'd like it a lot better than having to always play as whoever I tag in as. I'd much prefer to tag out and, and if, just literally sit there and not have to do anything or just run around and cause shenanigans on the outside of the ring. That's probably why they don't let you do it. <laughs> They'll just be over there beating up their, their tag team partners. Am I a champion in this match? Oh no, they did say if you do it, you have to vacate your titles. So, I'm no longer a champion because you think I'd only vacate the title if I actually got went up to a different roster. I think, you know, while doing the the match to show off, it should just let me still be the champion. Making his way to the ring from Fresno, California, weighing in at 219 pounds. The superstar. The superstar. 
Okay. Go away, guys. I'm tired of this. Who am I? They're on their feet for Johnny and his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 100. Oh shit. Johnny Wrestling. Oh boy. This is going to be a tough match. He's good. What's it about Johnny Gargano that makes him as good as he is today? Unparalleled heart. Johnny Gargano. Unparalleled heart. If they had his old theme song in this game, I'd have used that instead of the RVD theme. I'd like to shake your hand, Johnny. Hey. Overhead, belly to belly. You oh. missed. Oh god, I missed. Oh. Did I just give Johnny Gargano the opening he needed? Oh my god. Ow. 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 Oh my god. Ah. Oh god, my chest. Get off me. He steers clear of contact. Standing drop kick. Great up. Great ups. Thanks, Saxton. I didn't mean to do that again. What's going on? Not winning like that. These two competitors keep sent on off the apron. Between one another. If this works, it could change the course of the match. What's going to happen here? From the top. Oh, Ow, my legs. They hit the stairs. Why is Johnny Wrestling not doing any moves? Well, not much time to think when you have to worry about the referee counting you out of the match. Oh. I want this to look good. Ow. Now I'm going to lose my count out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's crab walking. Wow. The referee counted, urging them to get in the ring. And back in the ring we go. <laughs> okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Stomping down. All right, Johnny. Whip to the corner. Dangerous spot for him to be in. He's got to figure out a way to get back. What do they have in mind here? You got to do it. He's going up. From the top, he did the deal. No one kicks out of the Falcon Arrow. Well, I have to pin first. I can't believe it. All right. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Dude Buster. 
just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent... Organo lock. Incoming. Oh, shit. I knew it was coming, but I didn't know how to... <laughs> I'm gonna give it to him. No. 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 Ah. Ah. I'm just putting out some, uh... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Drama. Okay. Baseball. Oh. There we go. I gave him enough there. Oh shit. Alright. Heighten the drama. Oh my back. Oh my goodness, Osaka, or... Oh shit, he d had another one. I wasn't paying attention. Rope break, rope break, rope break. Now I am actually gonna tap out. Ah! No! Okay, that one actually was not planned and scary. This isn't the one I wanted, but I'll take it. That second Gargano lock scared me because I wasn't prepared for it. <laughs> and I'm not a very good button masher. But I figured that's my best bet because that, that circle... That circle game and the other games, I, I'll take my chances with the button mashing. Whew, that was a close one. Good match though. Meltzer better give that at least four. Four and a half, four and three quarters. All right, what's next? The Superstar Shakeup continues as we'll be moving to SmackDown. Welcome to SmackDown. I think you're going to do big things here. I think you're right. Oh, I did it. Why is it still giving me the NXT? <laughs> Some superstars have signature moves and finishers that can only be performed from the top rope, ringside, from the corner, or when your opponent is knocked down. You can view your so There I am. I only have this one outfit. That's the because uh, if I'm not wearing my ring gear, it's that clothes. It's that outfit. The same shirt, same pants and stupid white shoes. Here it is. We're on SmackDown now. What's the tagline for SmackDown these days? Is it still where? Is it where the big boys play? Oh no, that was WCW. Never mind. <laughs> I hope that was just like generic music. Story complete. Shaking up NXT. Oh boy, Mark Thompson. What a Mark. And Tasia Meadows. Okay, so I got them here. Uh, nothing in my socials. 
I could go to the... I'm in the... Oh, no. I'm currently in the luxury hotel. Who's in the pool hall? Let's go see where everyone's at first before I start talking to all these people. Because they're just going to be like, Hey, man. So-and-so talk shit about my podcast. Can you beat them up for me? Hi. I tried to get an autograph from Dolph Ziggler in the lobby, but he wouldn't sign it for me. Can you beat him up? Drew Gulak. Hey. Is he going to give me a lesson? What does Drew have to say? Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. I know you've had some success here on SmackDown. I haven't even started on SmackDown. If you're mature enough to handle it. I'm always mature enough to handle uh, constructive criticism. Like I think I am. What is it? I found some holes in your game. Uh-huh. Several, in fact. And if you don't repair those holes, they'll get bigger and bigger, and you'll never make it to the next level. Really? What holes? Is it that I like to put on a good show? Yes, really. You can ignore what I'm saying and accept mediocrity, or you can take my advice, train hard, and better yourself. Yes, sir. Drew Gulak, sir. I don't know. What do you get out of all this? Other than the satisfaction of helping someone become the best version of themselves? Potentially a tag team partner. But only if you accept my help and address your weaknesses. I can make a slideshow if it'll help make this any Yes, I'd need a PowerPoint presentation. I don't think that will be necessary. Ah. Okay, so what's your answer? Do you want my help or no? Let's do this. I want to be the best I can be. So let's do this. I know it's probably going to be tag team matches, but whatever. Great. I'm going to run you through an intense program of challenges that will pinpoint and correct each of your weaknesses. First up, your toughness. From what I've seen, it's lacking. I've kicked out of multiple finishers. Agree to disagree. No, agree to agree. To fix this deficiency, I want you to go start a fight with Riddle and win. Got it? All right. Go pick a fight with Matt Riddle. You know, an, a, a real life former MMA superstar. Sure. Am I going to do it in my ring gear? Or do I get to go pick a fight in my tore up jeans and one shirt? This superstar looks determined tonight. Oh. Whoa. From oh. He wasn't even wearing his flip flops yet. What the hell? We have oh. a developing situation backstage, and it looks like this is going to head to blows. Head to blows. Blows to head. Oh, Give me the chair. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Able to sidestep it. Oh, God. He manages to escape it. Nice take. Get down. Foot stomping down. Here we go. Face first into the chair. There you go. Ow. Yeah. Must oh God! Out. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Does this make me a heel? Did I just do a, Did I just come to SmackDown and heel turn because I took Drew? Drew Gulak's thing. Uh oh. Get on the table. Oh god. That'll fillet your chest. Yeah. Oh. Well, kind of. It's like his ankle went through the table. Chair shots. Chair shots. Chair shots. Oh, never mind. What? There we go. Unprotected chair shot to the head. Welcome to the late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, God. What? We doing here? Oh, reverse suplex. 
Whatever. Inverted, I call it reverse. Come here, Riddle. Oh, shit. Ow. They each are. <laughs> yeah, we are. I've never met this man in my life. I don't know what he has planned here, but it's not good. Can I? Yeah. Oh, God. Can I? <laughs> oh, never mind. We the a hockey stick. Uh oh. Get away. Ow. Oh. oh. Somebody better check his nose. Great job anticipating Riddle. Looks like setting up for a suplex. Suplex through the table. Oh, wow. For reals this time, not just his feet. Feet through the table. Uh-oh. Ring IQ on display there. Yes, impressive ring IQ in the parking lot. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Uh-oh. Oh shit. He just into the German suplex. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. 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 Oh god. Looking for the submission No. The bro mission. Trying yeah. to find a way out. Several right hands, and he's out. And he's out. Uh oh. Not good. Ow. Dragon screw. I'm out of here. How far does this go? Can I just, like, go somewhere else? Oh, I can't. Can I throw him into the soda machine? We'll find out. Oh shit, that he can he countered that like immediately. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Riddle has him up. He probably beat me. Oh, bro, Derek. Well, I didn't get knocked out, so that's a good thing. I can't I can't counter anything. Oh, step up in Zagari. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. No! Ow. Yeah, just 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 sit there. Just just dance on me. Dance at me. Let me recover while I, I'm just gonna rest right here while you keep dancing. Just keep dancing. Bro. Alright, I'm better. Hold on. <laughs> okay. German suplex. Suplex City. I can't step on him. Now trampling the opposition. Nice evasion by Riddle. Oh shit. Take down, look at a lock it in. LaBelle locked a little bell lock is in. Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it tap all you want. But in this case, a surrender does not grant you a reprieve. Shit. I need No, take the chair up there. <laughs> All right, get over here, Riddle. Oh, to the body with the chair. <laughs> get up. Get up. 
Get up! That didn't knock him out. Come on. Get up. Get up. I can't talk. Get up. I'll do this. Oh, shit. No, no. He got me. I'm out. He's going to beat me. Oh, that was a trophy. You failed the objective. Exit to main mini. No. Just exit. I don't like that. It's just like, give oh, it goes all the way to the main menu. I didn't know that. So you have to rematch and win that. That's a bummer. Well. I said main menu. I wasn't thinking for some reason I should have known main menu, but I was thinking like back to the the hub. Oh, sorry, Drew, but I'm not going to go back and do whatever that was you wanted me to do. Oh, it's going to superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, from behind. OK, so now I'm stuck in this. I have to win this now. This is the type of action I love. Personal grudges simmer and simmer, and then they finally explode backstage, and two superstars square off, looking to take each other out with whatever comes to hand. Well, that's, that's kind of a bummer. I wish if I could just, if I lost, I just lost, and it moves on. Anarchy, you say? <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me, Saxton. The elbow. He moves just in time. What? Able to avoid any harm there. Russian leg sweep. That hurt me just as much as it hurt him. Well measured. Set him up. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. Got him. Ha. Uppercut to the back of the head. European uppercut. Great awareness from Riddle. He's got I don't like that I can't do as much of the stuff that I'd I'd like to do here. Like the one time I took him all the way to the top i wanted to like throw him off here and like do an elbow drop off the top of that is that the sting bat oh i can come up here oh man you can see he is feeling it now with the lariat vicious right forearm oh, oh no, shit no 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 oh, oh yes <laughs> oh saxton Riddle about to face a harsh dose of reality. Yeah. Yeah. And continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Oh. 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 Ah. Oof. Oh. Ugh. Ooh. Ah. That's it. Beat him. <laughs> ah! Okay, get out of this, whatever this is. This little whirly bird of whatever. Okay, Drew, I did it. I saw what you did against Riddle. Could have been worse. I took down one of the toughest guys on the roster, and that's all you can say? Uh -huh. It was a step in the right direction. But you have more leaks in your boat to repair if you want to be the best version of yourself. Okay. Okay, so what leak are we fixing next? I see holes in your submission game. 
prove me wrong in a submission match. And I'll be out there watching in person, so no shortcuts, because... Shortcuts are bad? No, we've been over this. If you take shortcuts, you get cut short. Hey, now, come on, start that's actually good advice. Don't let me down. I like that. Take sh shortcuts, you get cut short. Probably means absolutely nothing. I just like the way it sounds. Yeah. All right, we got this. Submission man. I don't think I have any submission holds. What are the, what's the buttons to just do the the def, uh, default submission hold? Is it hold L, R one and circle when they're on the ground? They are ready for a fight. Oh, here's my SmackDown debut. Who's that? Oh, Drew Gulak. I forgot he's probably in my corner for this. There he is. Look at him. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Drew Gulak from Fresno, California. Weighing in at this is awesome. Smackdown debut. Now submission match. The Superstar coming to SmackDown. Corey, you watched me decimate everyone in NXT. Pay my dues. Go fuck yourself. I know, commentary's not great. I have to watch the whole thing because it's my SmackDown debut. I'll probably skip the rest of them. Unless I get a championship, I'll watch my first championship entrance. All right. One of a kind! Who am I against? Is this Chad Gable? Oh, Cesaro. I don't know anyone's entrance music. Well, there is one guarantee where Cesaro goes. How am I supposed to make Cesaro tap out? Saxton, can you try a feat of silence, please? No, I cannot. I said please. And his opponent from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 230. That's not fair. I don't want to fight Cesaro. Or, um, shoot, why am I blanking on his the other name? Uh, oh, I'm blanking on his on what his name was before, uh, before Cesaro. I'm blanking on it. Uh, Tony Castiglione or something. All right, Cesaro. Drew Gulak has a proven track record of helping superstars be the best version of themselves. And I heard this is his Yeah, I got rich. Apparently, Coach Gulak has tasked his student. Ah, elbow. Let's see how it goes. Oh, no. Can I get it from here? Elbow! Yeah, I'm feeling it. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Here we go. Knee. Is it? Oh, shit. Ow. My gut. My gut. Does Cesaro have a submission? If I'm actually pressing the right button, he keeps reversing it. Ah. 
Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my face. Snake eyes. Oh, God, my gut. Oh, my face. I'm in chest. Ow. Can I do it? Okay. Now. Can I make him submit outside? Set up in the corner of the ring. Up on the turnbuckle now. Perched up top. Could be looking for a superplex. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. This is gonna be big. This is gonna hurt. I got a This Is Awesome chant in SmackDown. Uh-oh. Cesaro. He's a projectile now. Yeah. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. What? I, it's a submission match. Why are there count outs in a submission match? It's a submission match. I had a check. I had to check. Ow. Can I just... Oh, but it says win match by submission, so I bet if I got counted out, it's going to say, like, you didn't do it. Rematch X to main menu. Uh, is it this button? Whatever. If that's it, he keeps countering it. Uh-oh. UFO! Ah. Drew Gulak, what are you doing? Oh, he has the fucking sharpshooter. I forgot about that. No! No! What if I... Oh god. I need him. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, my arm. My left arm. No. My left arm again. Ow. Oh, he's taunting me. Oh, he's kicking my butt. Oh. He is relentless all of a sudden. <laughs> I pissed him off. done anything to his legs yet uh oh he's gonna get out uh oh uh oh that's not what i wanted to do i don't think i countered it nope rest distracted 
It's a good thing he hasn't done any damage to my legs yet. I think I got it. I think I got it. Woo! Salt of the earth. Ah. The superstar. I didn't think I was going to get that for a minute. What have I got? All right. If he would have had like another finish, I would have put me in the sharpshooter. I don't think I'd have been able to get out of it because I think I had too much body damage. Okay, Drew Gulak, are we done yet? It's not nice win in the submission match last week, but when I was out there, I noticed you rely on reversals way too much. That's a hole in your game. I Isn't reversals a good thing? You're turning out to be a bigger project than I thought. You're not giving up on me, are you? No, never. <laughs> never. It's just going to take more work than anticipated. First, let's nip this reversal issue in the bud. In your next match, you're not allowed to use any reversals. Got it? Fucking kidding me. Yep, and no shortcuts, because if you take shortcuts, you get cut short. There just might be hope for you after all. No fucking reversals? That's not cool. Better get ready. Speaking of taking shortcuts. The following contest is scheduled there I am. One fall. One fall. The superstar. All right. All right, quiet, you two saying the same thing. No reversals against Kalisto, Grandma Dalik, Lindsay Dorado. Now he's going to go beat up someone in the parking lot. Let's say Dorado's great. Okay, so no reversals against Lindsay. This is not going to be good. I don't know. What happens if I reverse? Does it just not let me? change that perception in this matchup and taking him on is a luchador that throws caution to the wind the high risk high reward golden links 
But don't look at Lince as one-dimensional. He's really developed a multi-tool offense. Yeah, Lince Dorado continues to mature inside the ring and out of it. I just heard he learned out of here. I don't even know what you're supposed to do. Stop to the ring. And here we go. The oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Oh shit. Oh crap, he's reversed that. No, no, no. Okay, I don't know how I got up there, but. Okay. Is he not going to reverse either? I didn't. I thought I pinned. So what do you say now, Drew? Is that good enough? No reversals. What do you say now? Now I've noticed that uh, you you use too many strikes. Win without striking. Okay, what now? You're progressing nicely with your training, but we still have more to fix. What now? Okay. What's next, coach? We've talked a lot about shortcuts. And one uh -huh. of the ultimate shortcuts in sports entertainment is top rope maneuvers. Oh. You might remember my presentations on the risks these moves involve and my support of the no-fly zone. Of course. How could I forget the NFZ? Abbreviations are verbal shortcuts. Okay. Oh, right. Sorry. So your next match will be contested under no-fly zone rules for both you and your opponent. Let's see if your ground game can get the job done. Okay, so no top rope maneuvers. And my opponent is like, do I really get to choose if he is going to not use the uh, top rope? Because I don't really think I can control what he's going to do. Unless I'm supposed to keep him off the ground or keep him on the ground, not let him get to the top rope. I guess we'll see, huh? What if he wants to use the top rope? The WWE uh... There I am. There I go. <laughs> Apollo Cruz. Stand up, Saxton. We are in the presence. 
presence of true Nigerian royalty. Watch his entrance. I have to see him all at least, or every time I see him for the first time, I gotta watch it. He is too good. The things he can do. He has achieved in his life. And Apollo is set to show why he is descended of royal ancestry. You know, now that Vince is gone and Triple H is in charge, I really would like to see some guys that were underutilized get a get, you know, get a chance to showcase and do like some not just be on like dark matches or main event whatever that show if that show even still exists but like get them on the main roster just show them on tv let them like fight for belts some of these guys that they just let sit around doing nothing are just too good to be doing that unique match up here tonight being contested under no fly zone win the match that using top rope well, at least i can What about the middle rope? Can I use the Brett rope? Uh oh. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. Out. Standing moon. Standing moon salt. Out my back. Kidneys. Oh. What a counter. Crash landing. Vicious right forearm. Big impact. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Oh, stiff uppercut. Oh, just. Oh, my face. Oh, my face. Here we go. Regal Plex. He gets the shoulder up at two. He really thought that was it. Hey. Was getting on the top rope and taunting count. Uh oh, he's wiggling. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Ow. Oh my goodness. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left. Oh. Mistake made by Cruz. Uh, fighting spirit. Got him. And Rainmaker. Oh. oh no, he countered my finish. No. Ah, oh, snake eyes my face. I don't want to do that. I just want to do the takedown. Oh god, I ran right into that. What a match. Back and forth. Uh oh. Ow. Oh no, not again. Ow. I'm back. He is just really Ow. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. What is my deliver? Big boy. Big European uppercut. And now 
No. I didn't want to do that one. Oh, my stomach. I'm going to lose because I was trying to do a different finish. Big elbow. Here we go. Got him. That was a good match. Like, that'd be even a great match to watch on TV. What's next? It's like, seriously, what's next? It's like, hmm, you didn't do top rope moves. You didn't do reversals. Uh, you won with submission. You, you, you attacked Riddle in a backstage brawl. So finally. I have some bad news. You failed the Drew Gulak training program. What do you mean? I did everything you told me to do. I passed all your tests. This is going to end with me facing Drew Gulak. Sorry, you just don't have what it takes. There are too many holes to fix and not enough time. I'll need to look elsewhere for a partner. No, I will not accept this. I'm light years better than I was when we started training together. <laughs> and you know it. Okay, okay. You passed your final test. Uh oh, good job. Huh? Your last weakness was perseverance, but you just refused to accept failure. <laughs> You're now truly ready to be my partner. I don't want to be your partner now anyway. Thanks. All right. Now that the easy part is over, let's get to work. We have our first match teaming together next week. If you apply everything you learn, we'll be holding tag team gold in no time. Go celebrate for a few minutes. Then we'll start breaking down film on our opponents. This is going to be fun. Uh, I, would, I didn't know this was going to go on for this long. I fell for this trap. I fell for it. I thought it was just going to be a fun little harmless side story. But no, I've had four matches and now I'm getting ready to tag with Drew Gulak. For tag team gold on Smackdown. Ugh. Look who's here. Uh, this is not how I wanted to really. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. I don't want to be stuck with tag team championships. The superstar. The superstar. Oh man. He learned at the performance center. I think it makes him a very difficult opponent. Uh oh. Riddle and RKO. Bro. A cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to Bro, bro, bro. It is RK, bro. God damn it. They don't have a. They didn't have their their own like. They didn't have their own tag team entrance when this game was made. You no, know, like doves or anything when he kicked off his flip flops. I hear voices in my head. They cancel me. They understand. Oh, that's not. Oh, what happened? Why is it on RK Bro? All right. I already saw this entrance. 
I'm disappointed. I thought I was facing RK Bro. Apparently we're looking at the newest graduate of the Drew Gulak training program as the student and team up for the first time here tonight. Gulak's molded his partner in his image and the two now seem poised to go after tag team goal. First match here tonight though, All right. they take on two opponents who are out for revenge in Riddle and Apollo. Oh, Jones. they're out for revenge. Okay. Oops. Well measured. Oh, hold on. My back, or my stomach. <laughs> Ow, my face. And this one isn't going to be ended quite so easily. Are you sure? Drop down. Oh, trying to do spots. Don't worry. No one else is going to tag in in this match. Hold him out there, Gulak. I got this. Now that you're not looking, I'm gonna fly. I know you said no fly zone. Are you impressed? You impressed, Drew? He's gonna turn on me. Called it. Classic. Everything I've been through, and I just knocked out with one lariat. All right, Mr. Gulak, if that is your name. Drew, you trained with your oh. partner for weeks and in an interview backstage tonight for the first time. But then for some reason, you attacked him after the match. Can you explain why? I'd be happy to Thank you. see when we were training together, everything was so easy for him. OK, no matter what test or challenge I threw at him, he passed with flying colors. And the whole time he had this attitude about it, almost like he was doing me the favor instead of the other way around. Hmm. And then when we finally teamed together, he just had to get the win, right? It was his way of trying to one up me because he thinks he's so great. Well, I've got news for him. He's not, and I'll prove it because he thought he passed all the tests. Well, he didn't. I'm the final test. And this time he's going to fail. So you're challenging him to a match? Yes, but not just any match. Uh -huh. to see if he actually learned anything. So I'm proposing a match with no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves. Now we'll find out who's got holes in their game and who doesn't. No running. No escaping. No top rope moves. Is this in a cage? Hell in a cell? <gasps> Ladder match! <laughs> Uh, put whatever restrictions on me you want, Drew Gulak. It doesn't matter. I'll still beat you. Challenge accepted. Alright.
So like, am I really not even allowed to like run? If I run, do I get disqualified? You ran. You ran at him. Oh, we're at fast lane. Pay per view. Pay per view hype. Be right back. showing why everyone backstage should be scared. All right. Here we go. Drew Gulak. Here comes the party pooper. What are you, six? And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. He's held the Cruiserweight Championship, a multi-time 24-7 champion. Gulak craves the 24-7 title because he's always ready to fight at any time. A true Broad Street bully. Byron, you probably love Gulak and all his great presentations, right? I've always loved power. Here we go. So I can't I'm really eager to see if it's really gonna put all of those restrictions on me. You can't run, you can't get out of the ring, you can't use the top ropes, you can't use submission holds, you can't reverse. Drew Gulak's partner All right, let's see. Came to an end last week when he turned on his Damage Drew Gulak with attacks. In a matchup with some unusual stipulations. That's right, Michael. Gulak said there'd be no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves kind of stacking the deck in his favor if you ask me those are all legit can i really not run if his former student actually learned yeah it won't let me we know gulak failed to fix his poor attitude. can i not what about climbing the top rope he's heading up top thinking big the ref was warning me i saw that so i wonder if i would have got disqualified if i actually did it Can't get out of the ring either. Okay, so it really is restricting me. Drew Gulak is not doing anything. Does the Falcon Arrow count as a top rope move? hit him with the deal and it woke him up he knew that was coming ow oh he can reverse so can i russian leg sweep hey and he's asking for more 
consent. Grapple Drew Gulak while in the ring. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what the hell? Legal in this match? He tripped over the ropes. And with the referee down, Gulak is showing you exactly the kind of man he is, breaking the rules that he proposed. Yeah, he's, he's doing everything. And an opportunist. The no fly zone has been temporarily lifted. Leaving the ring, another rule violation. And it went to the oh. steps. Drew Gulak is completely taking advantage of this situation. He has that's kind of cool. And of course, just as the referee recovers, Gulak initiates a side headlock. What's wrong with that? It's perfectly legal. Yeah. The ref's just like, oh. You guys are nerds. Back. Attempt to win under Gulak's rules. All right. See if I can actually pull this off. There it is. What a time to actually pull off the pop-up power bomb off the ropes. I beat him after he tried to cheat. The superstar. All right. Did it. First storyline on SmackDown. That's what did it get introduced to SmackDown. Have Drew Gulak get me to piss off half the locker room. Let's say Dorado hates you. Apollo Crews hates you. Riddle hates you. Uh, who else was there? Cesaro hates you. And I guess because you beat up Riddle, then our Randy Orton hates you because it's his bro. All that for 15 upgrade points and 7,000 fans. Jesus. I guess maybe. Uh, well, you know, before I go into another big storyline, let's go ahead and just see what these little marks want. I'm a huge want. fan of Japanese wrestling. Strong style for life. <laughs> Get it? Because of my social media name, Mark for Life. Mark. Never mind. Do you think you could beat Shinsuke Nakamura in a strong style match? There's something about matches that are all about hard hitting, gritty physicality. Yeah, I'll try. I want the the attribute bonus more than anything else. You know, I was looking at this. You get some. You get pretty decent amount of upgrade points for doing these things. It's like I was making me wonder. Like, did I even need the the boost that I that it gave me for when I bought like the pre-order whatever edition or not I just got the the deluxe not not I didn't get the NWO one or nothing like that got all the DLC so season pass I guess all right I'm gonna skip this because Shinsuke Nakamura's got an entrance. I don't know how long it's going to be in this game. The king of strong style has arrived. Yeah, get ready. We're about to see the brutal striking ability of Shinsuke Nakamura on display. Shin is a true. Wow, they did not really sync the crowd up with the music too well, did they? Oh yeah, the artist. I hate that they started saying that. Yeah, think about Shinsuke Nakamura, Corey. He just has this relaxed confidence about him. Of course, that's the confidence that comes with knowing you are the king. As 
Shinsuke Nakamura truly lives a rock star lifestyle. Who would you know about a rock star lifestyle, Saxton? Yeah, they wouldn't even let you be a roadie. Yeah, or a groupie. Ha 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 ha, these guys are having fun on commentary. It's all fun. No pinfalls tonight, Corey. Just one superstar trying to impose their will on another, forcing them to submit. That's right, Cole. And in a oh, it's the submission match? Exploit any weakness your opponent has. Sore ankle, break that thing. Sore ribs, throw your opponent. Hold on. Let me make sure. What are the match rules? Submission only. Okay. That's a great strategy, Corey. What if your opponent doesn't have a weakness you can Ow, 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 ow. Pretty simple. Ow, God. Stop kicking me, Shinsuke. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, stomping away. Uppercut. Back of the head. Ow. My arm. Ow, my arm. Systematic attack on that shoulder. Ow. Ow. My head. Ow. Oh, no, not my arm again. That shoulder targeted there. Moved at the right time. Backbreaker. Oh, we both went for it. I'll try again. I missed. <laughs> no! Oh, my face. Oh, my back. On my face. Get off me. Oh, my face. Oh, no. Oof. Got me. Oh, my arm again. Putting the shoulder in jeopardy there. Oh, my face. I'm stunned. I can't do anything. Does Shinsuke have a. Ow, my head. Uh oh. You're gonna Kinshasa me? Uh oh. Dragon Sleeper. Here, you should recognize this move. But that's not all. Lariat, what a combination. Yeah. quick easy whatever for mark mark for life okay let's see 
All right. Probably just do whatever that girl's little one match side questing is going to be. And uh, that's probably going to be it for the night. I don't want to get into another big long storyline this evening. I've only got about 10 minutes anyway. So let's see what this is. What do you want me to do? You know what one of my favorite sounds in the world is? Hearing the crack of a kendo stick okay. over someone's back. I heard it at the first Weird kink, but was, whatever. And it's stuck with me ever since. I would love to see how vicious you could be with a kendo stick in your hand. Sure. Hit Apollo on the back with a kendo stick. Is it like a whole match, or do I just do that one thing and it's like, ah, congratulations, you did it. All right, what are we doing here? What's what's the what's the gig? Ha oh, ha ha! Uh huh. Well, you know, he came from Booker T. Uh huh. Seen this one too. I just gotta hit him in the back with a kendo stick. Oh shit! I walked right into that one. He's beating me up. Uh-oh. Crowned him. Let's get this over with. Completely off target. More often than not, gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfire. No stick impact. And each of these lead maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. So it's it's one of those I see. Raise the damage meter. All right. Oh, now he's got it. Crap. He's taking this to the floor now. Give me that back. Ooh, I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without All right. affecting you. Just win now, right? Ow. 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 With the retaliation. Apollo is going to look to press on the advantage. Could be a change of fortunes for Cruz. Uh-oh. I can't lift him. Ow. Oh my balls! He's taking some good hits. I like how the atomic drop is just like a a legal way to low blow your opponent. Looking to take flight here. Okay. Taken to the air and completely wiping. Ow. Ow. Can't see. Fans in the way. Bad camera work. Kevin Dunn, you're fired. Okay. Uh oh, this is not going well. It's not. Ow. Uh oh. Ow. Uh oh. The Boston Crab! Not the Boston Crab. You want a crab? Boston Crab no more. 
Austin Crab no more. Under the ropes now. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Military press. Ooh, will this be enough? Two. No, he cuts the shoulder before three. Close call. Oh. Almost lights out. Ow. He's really beating me up. Lured him in. Oh shit. Oh no. Ow. 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 Oh, God. It doesn't say I have to win the match. It just said I had to hit him with the kendo stick. Loopholes. Oh, come on. I hit rope break. 2.9. Uh, I'm getting my butt kicked. See if I can do it again. Oh shit, the ref got in the way. Oh shit. He countered my finish. Who got him? That was a t that was a battle. I had a fight for that one. Good job, GG's Apollo. The superstar. What is this? A different winning thing I'm a jigger. Yeah, I'm dancing. So we did all that, and that, I believe, is probably going to be all for this evening. Let's get my rewards. And then... I'm not even going to go to the off GM's office and see what kind of storylines are available. I'm just going to let it be a surprise for next time. We'll learn together. Together. Go ahead and please let's let's get to the screen loading 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 story complete kendo carnage all right got some bonuses there you made your decision during the storyline uh the decisions you made during his storyline have changed your i'm a heel now oh mark's back and now brent's here and Robin Ray. Ugh, I don't want to talk to any of these people. All right, so that is going to be it for tonight. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you had a good time. This was a fun, fun episode of Saturday Night Slamboree. But we will be back next Saturday for that. But until the meantime, tomorrow night, Persona 5, Royale, and um, one day left before kind of Shiro's change of heart so we'll be seeing what happens with that progressing that little story and then uh, oh that's right before we do that I have one day I remember going to mementos for that day before it happens so there's that Monday as usual spin the wheel make the deal and then have a few days off so until next time everyone have a good night I'll see you tomorrow night take care of yourselves <laughs>